Hey guys and gals, this is Real Appalachia with Shane. And Melody. And we're here today to talk about a subject that is very passionate for both of us, I do believe, and that would be... Food. Oh yeah. As you can tell by my physique, <laughs> I have a love for food that passes all human understanding. <laughs> but... Uh, if you have to eat, you better eat good. That's exactly right. <laughs> I might get emotional on this one even. I'm trying to prepare, so... That's I mean, okay. I might get worked up and have tears over food. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will get right into this. Uh, if Melody's voice sounds familiar with you to you guys, it is because she's been doing our TikTok and Instagram posts and doing a fantastic job. You'll hear more from her and see more of her, too, in the future. Thanks. So thank you for your contributions. Uh, we'll get into this right off the bat. I just want to ask you if you had only one town in all southwest Virginia that you had to go to eat, where would it be? I'd have to say Abingdon. There's just so many good choices, and no matter what mood you're in, you can find something. So if you were going to take somebody to Abingdon to eat, where would it be? My favorite place just happens to be in Abingdon. It's 128 Pecan. It's on Pecan Street in Abingdon. I've never had a bad meal there. Service is always really good. What do you get to eat from there? I get the carnitas quesadilla, and it is pulled pork. Barbecue, yeah, with uh, pepper jack cheese and a quesadilla, and it's so good. Um, I also have to always get the Parmesan fries, and if I'm getting an appetizer, which I usually do, it's the jalapeno hush puppies. It is definitely a must try. Uh, we may have to cut this video right here, go eat and come back. Cause yeah. just, you're making it sound pretty dead gum good right there. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I have to agree, though. Having in this just it doesn't get any better than that, really. Uh, yeah. So many good choices all across the board It's uh, for all price ranges. Uh, yeah. What are some of your others? I know for me, for my favorite here, uh, I like pepper meal a lot. Yeah, pepper meal is really good. Or tavern, those are a couple more upscale ones if you have a special occasion or something. Yeah, and the tavern, good. food and atmosphere are just phenomenal. And there's also, oh, yeah. of course, the ghost story associated yeah, with the tavern. Yeah, so much history there. Yeah. Then if you've not heard the ghost story, there's supposedly, uh, the, the, the building changed hands a bunch, and at one time it was a brothel. And mm -hmm. apparently there's an old uh, prostitute that haunts the place, and they call her the Tavern Tart. Yes. And I have gone, and I'm, I hate to say this, I've gone looking as good as I can look, <laughs> and I get nothing from her, so I don't know. Well, they say that she actually interacts more with, like, the female waitresses, um, that she will actually throw things, things will go flying across the room, but yeah, I just love that history and that side of it as well. Oh yeah, the history and the food, just the the steaks, all those things are just phenomenal. You cannot go wrong with the tavern. It's, like you said, a little pricier, but yeah. It's worth it, especially yeah. for a special occasion. Absolutely. What are some other good places around here? Um, I know for me, uh, I love pizza. And I think you probably know which one I'm about to refer to. Yes, Mama Mia's. Oh, yes. That's <laughs> one we can agree on for sure. Yeah. The Mama Mia's is just fantastic. It's got, I don't know what he puts in that, I don't know if it's the crust or what. That is so I think you put like some garlic, something. I don't know. It's really good. Must be what it is. And then the, yeah. the, uh, the cheese and stuff is just. Yeah. Just so perfect every time that I've been there. So it really is. And Bella's Pizza, I love Bella's here yeah. in Abingdon. Oh yeah. And talking about pizza, you're not gonna believe this, but there's occasionally I will drive a hour and a half round trip out of my way to go to Grundy, and there's yeah. a food truck down there. Yeah. A uh, guy named Gino Shiano has a food truck down there. I don't know what he calls his business. I wish I did. It's an old people. I think it's just Gino's, isn't it? Probably is. I think so. And I've been down there, and he cranks them out, I mean, a million a day, it seems like, and every one of them is perfect. I've never had a bad pizza from mm -hmm. Gino. My favorite pizza is at Mama Mia's in Honecker, which is totally unrelated to Mama Mia's in Abingdon, but that's my favorite pizza ever, and they know me well. They know exactly what kind of pizza I order. <laughs> <laughs> That's something about being a regular. Yes. It? Before we move on from Abingdon completely, I forgot to mention, too, just a fantastic lunch spot. And I know you know what I'm talking about yes. here. And favorite lunch spot. If we had just one last lunch left in the world, it would be Luke's. Luke's. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Luke's Cafe. Just, it has just a great atmosphere. It really does. Yeah, everybody is really always friendly there. Mm -hmm. um, great menu, no matter what you like. And I think we get about the exact same thing there. If, yeah. If, if I'm not mistaken, it's the, what is that called? It's the Hot Club. 
it's um, ham, turkey, bacon, and cheese on your choice of bread. And I have to say, it pairs really well with sweet potato waffle fries that they have. <laughs> I love those too. Absolutely. Yes. I've also tried their meatloaf sandwich there, which was really good. And I know my aunt and uncle love their crab cakes. I'm not a big seafood eater, but if you like that kind of thing, it's definitely worth trying. Oh, yeah. Good deal. And that's... Uh that's why Abingdon is the, is the spot to go to. And yeah, you, it really is. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you can find something amazing in that town. And I know I mentioned my favorite place in my hometown, Mama Mia's of Honecker. What's your favorite hometown place to eat? Oof, that's a toughie because I'm from Richlands, and there's always been some good choices there. There's the standards like everybody eats at Vandy's or V&V. &V. 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 I always call it Vandy's uh, the rest of my life. It's been V&V. <laughs> it's for, both. I guess. It's probably been V&V for 30 years and I'll still <laughs> call it Vandy's. Uh, but it's got, a, it's got a buffet and you get just about anything. You can also order off a menu. It's yeah. just fantastic with some great bread. They have great deep fried Oreos. Never so had that. good. <laughs> Never had that. I can't believe I haven't had that. But I've not had that one. Uh, so there's Vandy's. Of course, You've got to throw in cousins. You can't talk about Richlands without saying cousins. They got yeah, cheese absolutely. egg rolls, steak. Um, yeah. Just a fantastic atmosphere. Yeah, it's a really cool place to eat. Um, I know Fisher and Company is in Tazewell, but I love it. You haven't ate there, though, have you? No, not, not yeah. been. Believe it or not, I'm ashamed to say that. That they have like barbecue. Um, usually, whatever the special is, I'll get it. But like sometimes they'll do like loaded baked potato with pork barbecue on it it's really good that's really good yeah uh, i've got to check that out and i know the painted peak breweries up there too and i haven't been there before i haven't tried it either um, yeah there's a couple of places now that are kind of newer in, Rich, in richlands area or tazewell county uh there's cold town taps been there a few times and there's also placed it uh fannies down in dorian and literally you could walk out of my mom and dad's house and throw a rock and hit fannies uh, <laughs> hit the <laughs> fanny yeah <laughs> You could hit the fannies. I mean, they can use that as their slogan. <laughs> I'd be specific to my mom and dad, but... Hey. <laughs> it is really good. They have really good food there. <laughs> good deal. It's in Dorian. Yeah, it's in Dorian, right beside the post office. Okay. Uh, I was born and raised there, so... Well, oh, awesome. Pretty close to there. Yeah. Um, okay, getting out of our hometowns in Abingdon, what are some of your favorite spots throughout the rest of Southwest Virginia? I have to say the Burger Bar. Um, it's on State Street, but it is on the Virginia side if we're keeping in Southwest Virginia. I love it. They have like a Hank Williams theme to their menu, I guess. I always get the Move It On Over Burger. It's got bacon, cheddar cheese, caramelized onions, barbecue sauce. It's so good. Yeah, I love that too. It's a great, great, great choice there. So I can't, I can't argue with that one. Yeah. You do know that that was the last place Hank Williams was seen alive. He got his last meal there. I didn't know that, I yeah. Know that. Okay. yeah. Well, you could say I think that that place is to die for. <laughs> yeah, I think we should move it on over from that subject. <laughs> Good call. Moving right along. Moving it on over or whatever. Uh, I'm trying to think. There's a couple of... You can't, you can't mention Southwest Virginia food without mentioning Dip Dog and Marion. Yeah, definitely. It's amazing. Now, yeah. I love mustard and they things. They bathe those... Well, I do. I don't like mustard. You have to ask for it without mustard if you're not a fan like me. Uh, you, yeah. You gotta, <laughs> that's just against the law. It should be to eat it without mustard. <laughs> but that's to each his own, I do guess. That's right. Uh, another place I wanted to mention is the Galax Smokehouse down there. Man, you talk mm -hmm. about... And I love barbecue. I would say... On any given day, it's my favorite food, and the Gaylock Smokehouse is great because the barbecue is really solid, no question, but their dessert mm -hmm. is phenomenal. They got banana pudding that was, I think it was in Southern Living Magazine. Oh, that sounds so good. Oh, it is, and I'm a banana pudding snob. Yeah. I mean, I can put that stuff away, and if oh, I say yeah. it's good, you can take, take, take it to the bank. So. Yeah. I definitely yeah. plug Gaylock Smokehouse. Yeah. Uh, Speaking of desserts, I didn't even throw in Anthony's in Abingdon or Blackbird Bakery. Those oh, yeah. are both really great spots for dessert. Um, and I am a sweet tooth person. Because, <laughs> I love things. my cheesecake and cake and all of it. <laughs> so, yeah, if you should go to Anthony's, what do you get there? I always get cheesecake. They have this um, Brookie cheesecake. It's like a brownie crust with cookies and cream cheesecake, chocolate mousse. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. You can't beat it. Yeah, I like Anthony's a lot too. And you said mm -hmm. Blackbird Baker, which is in Bristol, Virginia. It's just right down from Burger Bar. You can literally walk It really there, is, you? yeah. Uh, I get 
I get there, I go there a lot. My son loves it. And uh, I always get the creme brulee. Yes. If, it's, if they have it. They mix their stuff up some, but that's some really good stuff there, too. Oh, we didn't mention um, Sugar Hill that's Brewery good. and Soddery. I haven't tried the brewery, um, but the Soddery mm -hmm. is in Norton, and it's really good. Great atmosphere. Oh, yeah. Lots of things on the menu to choose from, depending on what kind of mood you're in. You could probably go and eat there and eat something every day that was different. Yeah, it's great. I, I, I love cider, so they have some really good ciders that I like. The brewery I have ate there, too, in St. Paul, and it is it is really solid, too. I like the app. I love them both. It's hard to pick. It's like yeah. saying who your favorite child is or something. But <laughs> I love the cidery because of the atmosphere where you can sit out. It's, it's right along Main Street there. Right? Yeah. And, they just got a cool atmosphere if you can i love being yeah. outside i think they have events too the night that i went they were playing like music bingo yeah. where they had a dj there playing a song and you put the song on your bingo card and it really helped pass by the time they were really busy but i don't couldn't even tell you how long that i waited for my food because that was just so fun that's a place too that and i'm i'm a it's like a trail horse i go most places eat the exact same thing over and over and over and over yeah again. but not there i've always tried something different it's always been good so yeah i've been really happy with it so that's a good definitely one worth mentioning okay so i need to mention a couple other spots too i did this uh, post on the appalachian project uh, a few years back mm -hmm. and it was like top 10 food places i've been to in appalachia and i caught so much flack from one place in specific and that was people the good folks in pound virginia gave me down the road about not saying robos <laughs> robos driving it. oh it's good yeah. i've made i made it from a mistake <laughs> I, I stopped there and it's just amazing i get a grilled cheese sandwich hamburgers hot dog everything is great and it's just got that old throwback feel you they don't have a place to sit inside so you get in your car and you order and then they call your number out just okay cool like the king cone was in richlands if you remember that oh yeah and so it's a very similar type setup and so people have pound you have my apologies and i'm making up for it by i've never went past it and not stopped <laughs> so that's a good one uh of course scott county is known for the hobnob uh, mm -hmm. have you been there i've ate there once yeah so yeah the hobnob it stays jam packed you can barely get a seat in there so it's a local legend as well yeah um, also kind of like a little donner place to right? burgers sandwiches that kind of thing and shakes yeah i got strawberry shortcake there um, Ooh. Mm, love it i got like i said i love my dessert <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah strawberry shortcake's really really good there's also a couple places we've been wanting to try we haven't had a chance to hit up yet, but really excited to check mm -hmm. them out. One is the Dutch Treat in uh, Rose Hill, which is in Lee County, and yeah. it is uh, down there. And then checked it out on the online. Their website just fantastic. Had again, they had desserts galore. <laughs> yeah, so I'm really excited about it. It looks like they have your choice of sandwiches, like build your own kind of thing. So I'm really excited to try it. Dutch Treat's a good one. Uh, another sticking in Lee County, uh, Rooster's Pub down in, I think it's Pennington Gap. I yeah. Was, I don't think it's Jonesville. I think it's Pennington Gap, but I may be wrong. It's one of the two. Yeah, um, it looks really good, too. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So hopefully we'll be checking those out. Yeah, and if you feel like that we've missed somewhere that is your favorite place to eat in Southwest Virginia, let us know in the comments so we can try it out. Yeah, because we're all about the food here. And we'd hate, That's right. I mean, nothing, I don't know if it would make me <laughs> We cry. wouldn't want any place to pass a spa. Exactly. That's for sure. <laughs> exactly right. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this little look at Southwest Virginia food choices and go out here and check some of these places out, throw them your business, and hey, tell them Shane and Melody sent you. That's right. We won't do nothing for you, but make us feel good, I guess. I don't know. <laughs>